YouTube subscribers. Hey, welcome to today. My name is Joanne. Welcome to What's for Joanne. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button at the end of this video. Mm, today is a wonderful day. You can see um, I have the back view of somewhere in downtown Vancouver. You know, and today we're going to be looking at a book called The Boy Who Was Raised as a Dog. You know, what do you think? The Boy Who Was Raised as a Dog. This was a book written by Bruce Perry, you know, a doctor and also a partner, Maya. The Boy Who Was Raised as a Dog. Why do you think we have this title, The Boy Who Was Raised as a Dog? This is a compilation. This book is a compilation of um, Dr. Bruce Perry's memoir as a child psychiatrist. It's a compilation of so many stories and this book actually brought me close to tears, you know, um, especially having to do with, you know, having to do with the story in, in particular, the boy who was raised as a dog. I'm just going to read a page to you, you know, Arthur was not malicious, but he was ignorant about the needs of children. He made a living as a dog breeder and sadly applied the knowledge to the care of the baby. He began keeping Justin in a dog cage. Who is Justin? A child. His late wife's or late girlfriend's son. You know, unfortunately, Arthur was engaged to his girlfriend who had passed on. And then the girlfriend's daughter, or more or less granddaughter, had this baby, Justin. And she also had passed on from an overdose of drug. And Arthur, who did not have a proud knowledge on what it is to take care of kids, all he had done all his life was breed dogs. So what other option did they have was to put Justin in a cage, like the way he puts his dogs in cages when they throw a tantrum. And so whenever Justin throws a tantrum, he puts him in the cage. And so what does he do? He made sure the baby was fed and changed, but he rarely spoke to him played with him or did any of the other normal things parents do to nurture their children. Justin lived in that cage for five, five good years, spending most of the, his days with only dogs as his companion. So what kind of living in a cage for the first five years, first five formative years of one's life, how do you think the child will be brought up? And then who were Justin's companion? the other dogs. What kind of skills will Justin learn? That is for you to think about and that is for you to reflect. And you can imagine that this is a story or this was a child that was brought to Dr. Bruce Perry's, you know, clinic. How do you handle such a child at a certain age? How would you at a certain age? How do you reverse what that child has learned? And that is one story. There are so many other stories, you know, in this book. Different episodes, different people, different um, patients Dr. Bruce met in his clinic. I tell you, if you're a child psychiatrist, if you're a parent, if you're um, in the medical field, even for me as an educator, I'm also writing my own memoir, you know, soon to be published, which it's a compilation of my various days, my various episodes as a teacher. This is a good read. It brings to fore what, you know, what's going on in the lives of so many kids. When you see someone come into your space, you don't know the journey of this person. You don't know where this person is coming from. You don't know what journey this person has been through. So you need to be mindful when someone comes into your space to find out do a trace back to the person's history or to the person's past. This person could have just gone through an episode like Justin. You know, by the time Justin was taken to the clinic, Justin was actually lapping his food. He, he didn't know how to chew. Justin was actually using his cage as the washroom. He had no voice. He had no speech. The only way he communicated was either backing or whining like dogs you know so what I would encourage I would encourage you my subscribers this is a book 
for everyone to read. It's a compilation of so many stories, real life stories. This is a, a non-fiction book. Even though the characters there are not, they are all written in pseudonyms, but this is a good read for everyone. You know, because that way you're able to, no matter what profession you are, you know, sometimes we connect with people, especially in this time, in this unprecedented times of COVID. A lot of people are going through certain stress in their lives, certain depression for you to have to be masked on. I mean, I can't wear my mask while I'm shooting this video, but anywhere you go to, people are being a total quarantine. People are, you know, there are constant restrictions, constant lockdowns. And a lot of people are in that space of feeling unhappy. So reading this book, it resonates so much with me uh, that as an educator, when a child comes into my space, how do I connect that child? Where is this child coming from? What is this child past? When the child starts displaying certain characters, certain behaviors that I should take note of, you know, so I will encourage everyone this book, The Boy Who Was Raised as a Dog, and other stories from a child psychiatrist notebook. You know, and still, while we're still talking about my time of speaking on non-fiction books, the next book we're going to be looking at is Roadmap to Holland. This is a beautiful book. So don't forget, subscribe, wait to, hopefully you get to know more about this book, The Roadmap to Holland. You're going to Holland and you decide, ooh, your plane makes a detour and finds yourself going to Italy. Let's see what this book talks about. And don't forget, share my video, subscribe, and you'll get my notifications. Do stay safe and have a wonderful rest of the week. Bye for now.